I'm not the biggest chai person, I must admit. I love coffee more than anything. But chai time is an important time of the day for me too. Then we all gathered together in the living room to have a hot cup of chai. Even my mom fell in love with the masala chai prepared by Vinod's mom. But still, for me, coffee it is. Today we are going through Vinod's family's old photo albums, which is a great way of looking into family history and for my mom to get to know Vinod, Sangita, mommy and daddy better. And papa. Family and food are probably the two things that matter most to Indian people. Sitting down for a meal with family is the most important activity of the day all over India. But before we get to sit down together for our dinner, okay, we're heading to the Sabzi Mandi, the vegetable market, to show my mom where exactly our food comes from. In the West, grocery shopping mostly happens in big super or hyper markets where all the selection is pretty much available all year round. But here in India, the super or hyper markets are not the preferred option for shopping fresh fruits and vegetables. We make regular trips to the vegetable market for best prices and quality. Vinod's dad goes to the market every day to pick the seasonal local fresh produce from that day's selection, which then defines the daily menu. Some staples like potato, onion and tomato are of course available always and in every part of the country. But in India you really need to know what's in season and make do with whatever is available at the markets at any given season. You know, don't be like me and buy watermelons in July. Good big mangoes. Mm. Oh, shut kushina mango. Are you buying mango? Mango. Mango. Say hello, hello. Anika. 
Tuolla tehdään ää, äiti. Mm? Tuolla sun Sieltä Annika osti mummi tuollaisen karheon sienen. Mm. Se ei ole liian karhia. Oho, täällä on mitä saippua. Saippua rasia. Oh. It's so difficult to find. You go have like this. Early June and peak summer might not be a very enjoyable season in India, temperature-wise. But in one way, it is my favorite time of the year. It's the mango season, which lasts roughly from May to July. And the mangoes are the best right now. Mm, mango! 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 Mm. Oi, Annika, uh-uh! No! Mm -mm. Beyond the May-July period, it's pretty much impossible to find mangoes available anywhere. And even though it did take some getting used to initially, because in Finland I was always able to get pretty much any groceries I wanted, regardless of the season. I think these kinds of seasonal markets are absolutely great for food culture and the environment. <laughs> Menox. Sano Anni ja Lenox. Siitä on nikalki kumalla. Indian people eat seasonally, locally, and to a large extent sustainably. And it's not just because it's trendy or they're climate conscious, but those traits have been a part of the food culture since the ancient times. In India, just like anywhere in the world, Food culture is shaped by climate, land and access to resources. Historically, and even to this date, there has rather been lack of food, whereas in pretty much all Western countries there is such overabundance of food and selection that a lot goes to waste, unused and as leftovers, be it from hypermarkets, restaurants or households. In my view, the scarcity of food means that Indian people have a profound inbuilt appreciation and respect towards the food they have and the land or the animal it comes from. Every community in India 
has its own recipes, spices, and cooking oh, techniques. Even the selection of fresh yeah, veggies tomorrow. and fruits varies greatly between different regions. There is really no such thing as Indian food, but a great variety of regional cuisines, like Kerala, Hyderabadi, Bengali and Punjabi cuisines. Most often these so-called Indian restaurants in the Western countries actually cook Punjabi food. Anyways, what my mom is enjoying here in our Jaipur home will be very different from what she would have in our Kerala home. Vinod and I actually do love Kerala food, and I think I'm mostly cooking South Indian style. But whenever we travel to Jaipur or our Haryanvi villages, Vinod without a fail tells me every time how he can taste his at home and how he feels it in his stomach. Namaskar. You also see this. That mango plants, no? so many mangoes are there. We take uh, mango for pickle last year from here. Eikö se ole aika kiva, että tämmöisessä ison ison rakennuksen varjossa saa nähdä maatilaa? My mom is appreciating that uh, next to such a huge building you get this kind of farm experience also. Okay. So many families are living here. Annika. 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 The kitchen is the heart of the house. It's a strong belief in Indian homes that food prepared in bad mood is not good for the body and mind. So, food should be prepared in a happy kitchen with love and enjoyed with it too for proper nourishment of the whole family. Another strong belief in Indian homes is that a family that eats together stays together. Sitting down together for a meal is great for family bonding, talking and sharing. An Indian meal, in fact, is always meant to be shared, which is quite a wonderful way of having a meal together and teaches a great life lesson. Everyone gives, receives and gets to taste a little bit of everything, be it at home or eating in a restaurant. Ordering your own plate and not sharing it with others at the table would be considered rude and disrespectful. Pa my favorite Indian food is palak paneer. The best things about North Indian food are now on your plate. Fine. This, this is my favorite, but 
Pankki, now, pankki. now I think that it's my favorite. <laughs> Many Indian people don't like karela, but I mm. love especially uh, Vinod's mom's karela. Mm. It's very good. I like it. Mm. Mm. So it's not too spicy? Every food is so super and good. 